Sprinting in BFN is an essential mechanic, useful for getting to places of interest. But how much do you actually know about how sprinting functions? From the delay in weapon usage, to how it affects health regeneration. Let's get started. Sprinting in BFN on the surface seems like a relatively simple concept. You press down the left stick, or whatever button you've rebinded it to, and instantly you will move 50% faster in the direction you are moving. There is no limit on how long you can sprint for. I even checked myself, with a 60 second clip sped up to 8 times speed shown in the corner. Every character in the game can sprint, with the exception of the Oaken Space Station, along with their respective passengers. That is roughly about what most players know about sprinting, but there is actually quite a bit extra that might be useful to know when it comes to this mechanic. Firstly, almost every character sprints at the same speed, being 50% faster than their base walking speed. I say almost, as Citron is the exception to this rule, with his sprinting speed being over 70% faster than his walking speed, for some fucking reason. This can actually explain why it often feels much harder to chase down a sprinting Citron compared to every other class. Assuming they have no form of speed upgrades of course. Another thing as well, is the common tactic of sprinting whilst jumping is said to increase your overall movement speed, which in most cases, I can proudly confirm that this tactic is actually a viable strategy, even if the speed increase is barely a minimal difference. However, like before with Citra, there is an exception here to this rule. This time round, the exception is TV Head, where jumping whilst sprinting with him will actually slow him down. So on under no circumstances should you ever jump whilst sprinting with him, and should stick to just normal sprinting. One of the most critical pieces of information that often goes overlooked when it comes to sprinting is health regeneration. Normally, it takes 8 seconds to start regenerating health, and at a rate of 20 health per second. However, whilst sprinting, both of these values become significantly longer, with it taking over 12 seconds to start regenerating health, and said health regeneration only working at half speed. So as a general rule of thumb, if you are injured coming out of a fight, and need your health back as soon as possible, do not sprint, or you'll not only take longer to start recovering health, but also take longer to do so. Weapons also take longer to deploy whilst you are sprinting, with a third of a second delay that occurs when you want to use either most abilities or any primary weapon whilst sprinting. With the ready up upgrade, this can be reduced down to a 20th of a second, making the delay practically non-existent. One last aspect of sprinting that was actually implemented at a later point during the game's lifespan was the reduction in speed and jump height upon being shot. Now, I'm not certain of what the exact values are myself, but from observation, the amount of speed lost isn't particularly noticeable. It's mainly the jump height however that becomes apparent for about 2 seconds before returning back to the usual height. This was likely put in place as to make it easier to catch players attempting to run away, although it barely has an impact unless you rely on jumping whilst sprinting, in which then you will be slowed down by a significant margin. So, before ending the video, let's do one last brief overview of what we have now learned of BFN's sprint mechanics. Everyone sprints at plus 50% speed except Citron who goes at over plus 70%. Sprinting whilst jumping is faster with every character except TV Head. It slows down overall health regeneration, makes primaries and most abilities have a delay before they can be used, and you slow down noticeably if you are shot whilst sprinting. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.